questions? Sure, go right ahead. Were you one of the naughty or good children? I was just like all of you. Some days I was good, some days I would question, you know, what the, what the heck I was even thinking about. And I don't think you've ever met anybody who can be char characterized as either naughty or good. Everybody is, is, is uh, you know, a human. Everybody's flesh and blood. Everybody makes mistakes. Hopefully everyone learns from them. If you make a mistake, you, you go to someone who cares for you, a responsible adult, and you get the best advice you can and you straighten it out. If you got to apologize, you apologize. If you have a debt to society that you have to pay, you go and do it. And then the next day you get up and you start again and you do the best you can. You have faith, which is very, very important. You trust people who care about you to give you the best advice and to be your mentor. You deal with responsible adults and you treat everyone like you want to be treated. And you have nothing to think twice about. You put, you put like Jiminy Cricket on your shoulder. You know, always let your conscience be your guide. Think things through. Make decisions that make sense. Always stay safe. And you'll be fine. You know, moderation is the key to success. So you do things on an even keel and, and you'll, uh, you'll do well. But I think I'm just like all of you. I, I've, uh, I've made, I've had good days. I've had bad. I've, I've done things 100% right and I've made plenty of mistakes. And you just do the best you can every day. What is available for someone my age to do after school? You know, it's funny. You've got well. First of all, you have you have boys club, you have girls club, you've got the Y, you have Denison Memorial, you've got the Citizen School in our schools. You've got all kinds of leagues and clubs going around in this city, whether it's baseball or football or soccer or field hockey, whatever it might be for boys or girls. There's an awful lot to do, but we also intend to uh, uh, make a real effort to get the schools open after school so that you'll have the ability to be tutored, you have the ability to play, see your friends, uh, have, have a little bit something to eat. So I'm, I'm optimistic that before very long, before very, very long, we're going to have a uh, comprehensive network of after school activities for the kids in this, in this city. So we're, uh, we're working hard on that, we're looking forward to it, but in the meantime, there's an awful lot to do day in, day out. My advice would be stay off exercising your thumbs, right? What's that? That video game, right? Stay away from those video games, especially the violent video games. Walk away from those. Go outside, play, have fun, okay? Play a little ball. Uh, and, uh, and I think that's how you have a well-rounded type, uh, you know, type of a day. Study hard and then go out and have some fun. Play hard. No, that's, that, okay, let's talk about this. I have never met Barack Obama, but my understanding is I think I may meet him next week. That's number one. And if I do, I will say hello to you. So that's first. But second, let me tell you the presidents that I have met. All right, we'll work, we'll work backwards. I never met George Bush Jr. I, I've never met him. But I have met Bill Clinton, uh, you know, several times. In fact, I met Bill Clinton when he was very young. I met Bill Clinton when he was uh, probably in his mid-20s. Um, maybe maybe late 20s, but I met Bill Clinton several times. Then I met uh, George Bush Sr. I played softball with George Bush Sr., who was the president before Bill Clinton and was President, uh, president Bush's dad. Then uh, before that, um, I never met Ronald Reagan, but my father served in the Army with Ronald Reagan, so my father would tell me all about Ronald Reagan, which is kind of interesting. And then... Uh, I met uh, Jimmy Carter. Uh, I, I knew Jimmy Carter pretty, you know, pretty well. Um, now I knew uh, Vice President Humphrey. I knew Vice President Mondale. Um, Vice President Biden I've met many times. Vice President Gore I've met many times. Uh, I did not meet uh, Nixon, but I saw Nixon's last State of the Union when I, I was in the gallery when I was a kid, so I actually was in the same room. I also saw Nixon speak in Milwaukee when he was running for president in 1968. It was probably from here to that wall from him. Um, I saw Humphrey speak that year. I also saw Wallace speak that year. Wallace gave a speech in Milwaukee, and I saw Humphrey in Milwaukee also. I never, uh, I, I never saw, um, I never met John Kennedy, although I'd see him on TV when I was a kid. I never met uh, Robert Kennedy, but I'd see him on TV. I never met uh, President Eisenhower, although I would see him on TV. I used to see Adlai Stevenson on TV. 
I never met uh, Truman, but I would see him on TV on a regular basis, all when they were alive. I never, I never met. Uh, obviously, I wasn't alive when uh, uh, when Franklin Delano Roosevelt passed away. So uh, I've, I've seen, I've met an awful lot of uh, the presidents, or been in the same room as them. I've got to talk with several of them. But I, I uh, would hope to see uh, President Obama next week. In fact, I'm looking forward this week. In fact. This week, I'm going to see President Obama at the end of the week, and, and that's going to be fun. I look forward to it, and hopefully I'm going to get a chance to shake his hand and say hello and tell him how much we appreciate you know, his hard work and how difficult his issues are right now, and that we'll, we'll back him as the President of the United States any way we can. So those were great questions. Did, 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 uh, did that give you a glimpse into how I think? Uh, my f well, I have a couple chicken uh, chicken pot pie. I love, and especially if it has those little red peppers in it. Okay, so chicken pot pie, and it's got to be a decent crust. But I love chicken pot pie. I also love meatloaf. Okay, I'm sorry that I'm not saying like some sort of fancy food, but I love meatloaf with mashed potatoes and gravy and any kind of vegetable, carrots, peas, anything like that. So my two favorites are chicken pot pie or meatloaf. Now I also love soup. I love stew. I love hot dogs, but I try and stay away from them. But I will, I'll go down to Jimmy's, which has great hot dogs down here, you know, uh, right on uh, Purchase Street. I'll grab a couple of hot dogs on Fridays, usually. I, when I was a kid, I loved McDonald's. But now I'll only get a Happy Meal at McDonald's just to get a little hamburger. You know, and I'll usually, it doesn't matter, I'll get a boy or a girl. It depends if I think I'll see a boy or a girl to give the little prize away. I love Coca-Cola. I love Coca-Cola. That's my weakness is Coca-Cola. I love cakes and cookies. I love ice cream. Uh, but pretty simple, you know. You don't nothing fancy. It's just plain old-fashioned, simple things. I don't eat a lot of meat at all. I do love fish, and I love I love scallops. I love fresh fish and scallops. But I but by and large, you know, if you said to me, I want to I want to get you a meal that you would really want, it would be uh, it would be chicken pot pie. It would be meatloaf. And if you said, okay, we don't have either of those, what do you want? I'd say, yeah, spaghetti and meatballs. That's about it, right? Now, but I like all kinds of food, so I don't want you to think in a minute. I mean, if you have good Chinese food or you, anything, you know, you can think of. I love Cape Verdean food. I love Portuguese food. You know, I love macaroni and cheese. But, but the fact of the matter is that if, if you're going to make me something, chicken pot pie or meatballs. What flavor of ice cream do you my favorite ice cream is chocolate chip. And my, right now, the chocolate chip I like the best is Brigham's. I think it, it reminds me of Howard Johnson's ice cream when I was a kid. For young people, I want, first of all, I want you to be safe. I want you to have good support with your family. Okay, I want you to know that people really care about you, that they love you, and they want you to do the best. I want you to get a good education, have the opportunity to get a great education. I want you to pursue the things that you love. So if you, if you want to be a dancer, I want you to be a dancer. If you want to be a football player, I want you to be a football player. If you want to be a, uh, you know, a, a track star, I want you to be a track star. If you want to be a debate, uh, you know, a star in the debate team or a mathematician, or if you, if you want to join a, a key club or something, or, you know, sing, whatever it might be, that's what I want. So. Every single young boy or girl, I want them to figure out what they love doing, and then I want to be able to have an opportunity for them to do that, pursue their dream. So that, that's what I want to see. First thing, though, is everybody's got to be safe. That's the first thing, okay? In, in anything you do, whether it's going down the beach, crossing the street, going out to play, everybody's got to be safe. I have another question. Go ahead. How old are you? Um, how old do you think I am? 56. Okay, what do you think? 40, okay. 52. 52, okay. Uh, I am, uh, I'll tell you this right now. Neither of you, of, uh, or neither the three of you are correct on Are you six, are you in your 60s? No, do, do I look like I'm in my 60s? <laughs> exactly. Do, do you think I look like I'm more like 40? You're in your 40s. Do I look like I'm in my 40s? I do, don't I? I don't, I do. I am, I am, uh, I'm not any of the three ages that you.